Welcome to the first video in our Fast API series. Today, we're kicking things off with an introduction to Fast API, one of the fastest growing frameworks for building APIs in Python. In this video, we'll cover the basics, an overview of Fast API, why it's worth your time, and how to get your environment set up. By the end, you'll have your very first Fast API app up and running. Let's get started. So, what exactly is Fast API? At its core, Fast API is a modern, high performance web framework for building APIs with Python. It's designed to be easy to use and fast, both in terms of development and performance. The name Fast API isn't just a catchy name, it really lives up to the fast part. One of the reasons Fast API is so popular is because it takes full advantage of Python's type hints. This means that you can define the structure of your data up front, and Fast API will automatically handle validation for you. It also generates interactive API documentation automatically, which is a huge time saver. Fast API is particularly well suited for building APIs and microservices, which are small, independent services that work together to form a larger application. This makes it a great choice for projects where you need something that scales well and can handle a lot of requests efficiently. You'll find Fast API being used in a variety of fields, from web applications to data science, and even in production environments where speed and reliability are critical. Companies like Microsoft, Netflix, and Uber are using it to power their backend services. Now that we know what Fast API is, let's talk about why it's become so popular and what makes it stand out from other web frameworks. First up, Fast API is known for its fast performance. It's one of the fastest Python frameworks out there, comparable to heavy hitters like Node.js and Go. This means your APIs can handle a lot of requests per second, making it ideal for high performance applications. Another great feature of Fast API is its built in data validation. It uses a tool called Pydantic to automatically check that the data your API receives is correct and complete. This saves you time and makes your code more reliable. One of the coolest things about Fast API is that it automatically generates documentation for your API. As soon as you define your API routes, Fast API creates interactive documentation using OpenAPI and Swagger. This means you and your team can easily test and understand your API without writing extra code. Fast API also supports asynchronous programming, which is perfect for modern web applications. This allows your app to handle multiple tasks at once, like processing requests or working with databases without slowing down. Before we dive into coding with Fast API, let's make sure our environment is set up correctly. We'll need three things, Python, Fast API, and Uvicorn. First, make sure you have Python installed on your system. Fast API requires Python 3.7 or later, so if you don't have it yet, head over to python.org and download the latest version. Once Python is installed, the next step is to install Fast API and Uvicorn. Fast API is the framework we'll be using, and Uvicorn is a lightweight ASGI server that will run our Fast API applications. To install these packages, open your terminal or command prompt and run the following command bash pip install Fast API Uvicorn. Once the installation is complete, you'll be ready to start building your Fast API application. If you encounter any issues during installation, make sure Python and pip are properly installed and added to your system's path. Now that our environment is set up, it's time to build our very first Fast API application. We'll start by creating a simple Fast API server with just one route to get a feel for how everything works. Let's dive into the code. First, we need to import Fast API and create an instance of it. Here's the code. From Fast API, import Fast API app Fast API. In this code, we first import the Fast API class from the Fast API module. Then, we create an instance of this class and store it in a variable called app. This app object will be our main application, handling all incoming requests. Next, let's define our first route. This route will respond to get requests at the root URL of our API and return a simple message. Here's how we do that app.get slash def read root return hello world. We use the app.get slash decorator to tell Fast API that this function should handle get requests to the root URL, which is represented by a forward slash slash. When a user visits this URL, the read root function is called and it returns a dictionary with the message hello world. That's it. 
We now have a basic fast API application with a single route. Next, let's run the server using Uvicorn and see it in action. To start the server, run the following command in your terminal, uvicorn main app reload. Here's what this command does. Uvicorn is the server we're using. Main app tells uvicorn to look for the app instance in our main.py file and dash reload enables the automatic reloading feature. This means if we make any changes to our code, the server will restart automatically. With the server running, open your web browser and navigate to http 127.2.1.8000. You should see our simple hello world message displayed. Fast API also automatically generates documentation for your API. To access it, go to http 17.0.1.8000 slash docs. Here you'll find an interactive interface powered by Swagger UI, where you can test your API routes directly from the browser. You can also check out ht slash slash 17.0.1.8000 slash redoc for another documentation style using redoc. Both of these tools make it incredibly easy to understand and interact with your API. And there you have it, your first fast API application up and running. In just a few lines of code, we've created a simple API, started a server, and accessed auto-generated documentation. Fast API makes it all incredibly easy. And that's a wrap for our introduction to Fast API. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and that you're excited to dive deeper into Fast API. In the next video, we'll explore more advanced features and start building a more complex API. So make sure to stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.